Hello Design Star. by the end of this video, I will demonstrate how to create a professional PDF sewing template in Adobe Illustrator for A4 paper size. This template can be used for your digital sewing patterns on your home printer. The steps include creating the artboard, labeling the pages, and saving it as a sewing template that you can use for your e-patterns such as those created in Cloud 3D. Okay, there you go guys, in this video, we will create an Adobe template for your e pattern in Adobe Illustrator. To do so, first I will go to File, then select New, then go to Print, and we want to select View All Preset, and I'm going to select A4 here. After that, I will name the file, then I will change this from points to inches, and I'm going to type in here 7.27, press on the Tab key. And then press it on again and height i'm going to type in 10.69 then press on the tab key orientation portrait is perfect artboard i will change that to 40 then come down here lead is zero perfect i'm going to click on more setting here and by default we have a4 paper size perfect and number artboard 40 then we want to select the grid by row Excellent, and I'm going to change the spacing here to 0 and press on the tab key to confirm. Column, I will change that to 4. Then I'm going to press on the tab key once again to confirm. So right now we have width 7.27, perfect height 10.69, that is perfect. And orientation, portrait, visual, the bleed is 0. CMYK, perfect height 300 ppi and preview mode is default, that is awesome. I'm going to click on create document. And there it is. I'm going to zoom in simply using the zoom tool, click on it to select and then click one and then drag it to the right to zoom in. Next, I will come over here to the layer panel and then change that name to borders. And then press return enter on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I will come over here to this rectangle tool, click on it to select. Then click one on the page and I will type in here 7. 27 IM, then press on the tab key and I'm going to type in 10.69 IM, then press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I will come over here and then change this stroke to two points and I will select the selection tool and then click on this object right here and I will select this horizontal align center and vertical align center. After that, I will change the fill here to somewhat greenness for now. Now I'm going to click one on the page to deselect and click on that object right there. I will press on command or control plus letter X to cut. Then I will go to edit and then we want to select paste in place. Now once again, click on the page here to deselect. Then click once again on the objects. Then command or control plus letter X to cut. And this time we will go to edit and select paste on all artboards. After that, I'm going to zoom out all the way here. And I'm going to pressing on command or control plus letter A to select. Then I want to change the fill to none. And we want to change the opacity here to 70% and then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I will come over here and lock that layer. Next, I'm going to create another layer. Simply pressing on option or all and then click one on the great new layer icon and I'm going to name this circle. Then press return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Um, let's zoom in once again, use that zoom tool. Next, I will use this ellipse tool. Simply go to the rectangle tool and then click on this ellipse tool to select. Then hover the mouse on that corner there. Click one and I'm going to type in 0.5 IN. Press on the tab key and then 0.5 IN. Then press on return into on the keyboard here to confirm. Next, I will grab the selection tool, click on it to select, then click on that circle and then bring it over here until I see this guideline right there snap onto that corner and I will change the fill to also greenish and I want to change the stroke to none here. After that, we want to make copies of the circle and place them on all the corner of this artboard. Simply click one right here to these legs. 
and I'm going to my key select that circle, command or control plus letter X to cut, then go to edit and I'm going to paste in place, then click one on the page here to deselect. Then I'm going to my key select, command or control plus letter X, and this time go to edit and we want to select paste on all artboards. We are going to do a few more steps here. Simply my key selects all that circle right here and zoom in. I'm going to simply use this option all command, left click and then bring it down here. Until I see this guideline pop up, I'm going to release them out here to place the circle. Now I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. We want to also make more copy of the circle and place them on all these corner right here. Simply my key selects all these circle here and I'm going to zoom in, command or control, plus, plus sign. And once again, while all that circle are selected, press on option at all and then left click and drag. I'm going to simply place right there and looks like the circle is on the corner. It's perfect. Now I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all the circle. Then I will go to the fill and change that to 80% gray. Then come over here, change the opacity to 70. Press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I will also come over here and lock that circle as well. After that, we want to create one more layer here. Simply press on option or all and then click on that create new layer. And this time I will name these numbers. Press on return or enter on the keyboard. Then let's zoom in once again, use the zoom tool. And this time I'm going to use this type tool, click on the to select, then click one on the page. I will change the font to 120. Type in 120, press return or enter on the keyboard. Then I'm going to type in number one here and click on the selection tool to select that number. We want to align that to center and I'm going to bring this up roughly one third from the top here. Next, we want to copy and paste all these number on all of the artboard. Simply click one on that number, command or control plus letter X to cut. Then go to edit and I'm going to select paste in place. And once again, click one on the page to deselect. And my key selects on the number once again, command or control plus letter X. And then I'm going to go to edit and select paste on all artboards. Next, we want to change this number according to the artboards. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. To do that, I will use this type tool once again and change it to two. And I'm going to speed this process up so it will save us time. Now we are finished with labeling the pages. Next, I will go to selection tool here, click on that to select, and I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all these number. And I will change the opacity to 70 and then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I will come over here and lock that layer. Next, we want to create another layer. Simply press on option at all and then click on that create new layer. And this time I'm going to change that to scaling square. Then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Then once again, use this zoom tool. I want to zoom in to this top page here. Then I will use this rectangle tool, click one right here on the page and I'm going to type in 1IN, press on the tab key, 1IN, and then press return or enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I will change the fill to none, and then change the stroke to black, and one point that is perfect. After that, I will use this type tool, and I'm going to click right here to type 1 by 1IN, and then I will change the font size, simply use this selection tool, click on it to select. I'm going to type in 14 and press on return or enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I'm going to align both objects together. Simply my key select and then click one on the square. Come over here to this horizontal and vertical align center to align them. And next, I'm going to create another square box. Simply go to that rectangle tool, click on it to select, click one right here. And this time I will type in 2.5 cm. Then press on the tab key, 2.5 cm, and press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. Once again, change the fill to none, and change the stroke to black, and one point that is perfect. I will 
grab this type tool here and click one right there and I'm going to type in 2.5 by 2.5 cm I will select the selection tool my key selects both of these objects click on the square then come over here to align center for both horizontal and vertical now I'm going to my key select both of these objects and then bring it up here a little bit after that I will also want to create a node here simply go to my node here and copy i'm going to use this type tool click right here and command or control plus little v to paste then i'm going to make a little bit look prettier here this node here be sure to measure this one inch or two and a half centimeter square box before cutting the fabric after that i will come over here click on the selection tool to get out the typing tool and i will come over here simply lock that layer next we want to create one more layer here and i will come over here to the create new layer icon press on option or all on the keyboard click on it and then i'm going to name these patterns this for the customer when they bring their pattern over they can place them in the pattern layer after that we will save this file as a template i will go to file and then select save as then save on your computer and name is perfect a4 paper size i will navigate to desktop then i'm going to create a folder for it okay so this one going to be a4 paper size then i'm going to click on create here then be sure format is adobe illustrator ai and i'm going to click on save and by default we have illustrator 2020 perfect and right here 100 create pdf compatible file embedded ICC profile, use compression, and be sure to leave this save each artboard to separate file box is unchecked, okay? After that, we will click on OK. There you have a design chart. And here, check out my video on how to print a real size pattern in close 3D using this template. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And remember to follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.